everyone. Uh, thank you uh, to Coalition for Global Hepatitis Elimination for organizing this exciting meeting and for giving me the opportunity to give an overview of the hepatitis birth dose introduction in Mozambique as part of the PMTCT highlighting the main gap. So my name is Helga Guam, doctor. I work at the Ministry of Health and I am the PMTCT uh, focal point. So uh, Mozambique is a country with 30 million uh, people. We have 1,391 uh, maternity wards. Uh, our fertility rate is one is 5.3 percent. The first ANC coverage is 115 percent, and the fourth ANC coverage is 58.5 percent. In 2020, we had uh, over 1 million uh, birth uh, live births, with 85 of those that were institutional deliveries, and the prevalence of HIV among people of 15 and 49 years is 13.2%. The HBV vaccine is available in our country since uh, 2004, and it's a part of the immunization schedule for all children. In 2020, the OPV and the BCG vaccines, they are over 100%. The DPT-1 and DPT-3 were also over 100%. And this is due to our denominator estimative uh, issues. The hepatitis B birth dose is not provided yet in the country. It's been approved by the National Immunization Committee to be implemented in the country. And it's also part of the national plan for the triple elimination or vertical transmission of HIV, syphilis, and hepatitis B. Despite limited data, uh, prevalence of HBV in Mozambique is thought to be high. Among general population is 7.2%. Among women of reproductive age is 10%. And among ART naive HIV positive is 7.6%. According to a study conducted in a youth clinic in Maput, uh, they had 12.2% of um, HBV prevalence among median age of 16.6 years people. Uh, so this is our HB, uh, hepatitis B and C protocol, clinical protocol. And our national policy uh, is to screen all pregnant women in the first antenatal visit, preferably in the first trimester of pregnancy. It's important to say that in our country, we are not yet implementing any activities for the PMTCT of hepatitis B. Um, so uh, this is something that uh, we, we, we are working very hard to introduce in the next few years. So still in this protocol, uh, we have some guidelines for treatment and for the co-infected pregnant woman, HBV and HIV co-infected pregnant woman, uh, we will give them our first ARV line, which is TDF, 3TC, and DGG. The HBV mono-infected pregnant woman will be evaluated for eligibility to start antiviral prophylaxis with TDF. Uh, this will be done from the 28 weeks of gestation, or uh, they will be evaluated to get the treatment with TDF or entecavir if necessary. Um, in this slide, I'm showing you our national PMTCT triple elimination plan. So here we have some uh, activities uh, or objectives that we want to aim, which is to integrate in implementation this plan, which is to integrate the birth dose of hepatitis B into the national vaccination schedule, to start the HBS antigen testing at ANCs, to access co-effectiveness in the context of Mozambique uh, on the use of antivirus to prevent HBV transmission and to integrate the hepatitis B indicators into our monitor and evaluation system. So um, here, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about the implementation uh, and implementing research that was done in Chamangu ANC and maternity and the strategy was to prevent hepatitis B vertical transmission 
focus on use of tenofovir for pregnant women and introduction of birth dose. And these uh, charges were considering that Mozambique is a low middle income country with high transmission of HPV. Uh, there are patients who need hepatitis B treatment fall on WHO recommendations and are not receiving it. Hepatitis B vaccine birth dose is not included in national immunization schedule. And it's important to say that these uh, activities, they were done at one stop model at health facilities using the nurses that are uh, working at those uh, consultations. Um, these are the activities that were integrated in the, into the ANC uh, services, into maternity services, all the MSH uh, services using our nurses that are working at those consultations. The, was the hepatitis B testing during antenatal care, the hepatitis B treatment and prophylaxis for pregnant women if needed, and the hepatitis B uh, newborn vaccination at maternity and testing partners and children for HB, HBS antigen positive pregnant women and hepatitis uh, B vaccination if needed. Oh, see, these are some data that we managed to collect from November 2017 to December 2020. Uh, 11,807 women pregnant women, they were screened for HBS and antigen. And uh, of those, 7,288 that were negative, they managed to get all doses of the HBV uh, vaccination. So the ones that were tested positive, we had 420. And of those, 35% were HIV co-infected. Um, and we had our 3.5% of positivity rate. The one that's, that were HBV, uh, HBS, sorry, antigen positive, they were screened for HBE antigen and for viral load. After that, um, some of them, they had indication for TDF uh, uh, and the others, they, were, they had indications for TDF uh, prophylaxis and the other ones, uh, which one, which was 138, uh, they were doing the TDF as part of RIT first line in the country. So uh, the babies that got the hepatitis B birth dose, we had 8%, and the final status of the maternal and child transmission was less than 1%. So the achievement and challenges of implementing this um, research was that the HBS antigen rapid test was integrated, as we have said before, together with the HIV and syphilis rapid test that is done at ANC. Uh, HBV positive mothers, they were referred to MSF uh, team for HBE and viral load, since these are the, 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 the tests that we, are not, that we don't have in the country yet but they managed to implement it in this research. And the challenge was to have uh, these tests available at, a, at all ANC. Uh, the HBV birth dose vaccination was integrated in postnatal. Um, unfortunately, the babies that were born out of these um, maternity, they didn't receive this vaccine. So the challenge is to have uh, these birth dose vaccine at all maternities. Um, the follow-up after delivery was difficult as mother and babies are followed by other services and then they had to, to go to the maternity just for the HPV consultation. This is the, the thing that they didn't manage to integrate. It was this uh, follow-up uh, of the baby mothers at the routine consultation. This, is, this was one of the things that they didn't manage to integrate. Uh, regarding the, the tools, um, they managed to adapt uh, by adding stamps for testing and vaccination on our uh, registers that we have now. So it was not uh, a challenge for them to register 
uh, the testing and the vaccination. Our next steps is to follow up with global uh, funds uh, for acquisition of rapid tests of HBS and HBD antigen, uh, acquisition of TDF for prophylaxis and treatment to follow up with national immunization program for submission of the proposal for financial request to Gavi to develop national clinical protocols for implementation of PMTCT for hepatitis B. And last but not least, the revision of our MCH uh, monitoring evaluation tools to integrate hepatitis B indicators and variables into this research. Thank you very much.